Welcome back. My name's Anthony Valentine, the Camper Nerd, and I'm delighted to be showing you around today. Well, what can I say? I am gonna literally run out of superlatives. This literally is, in my opinion, the ultimate camper van. Not motorhome, camper van. So this is 2006, December 2006, nearly 2007. Um, VW Transporter on the T5 shape and converted by Auto Sleeper brand new with the Topaz configuration. So this is an Auto Sleeper Topaz. So do not make mistakes, do not underestimate this vehicle and try and compare it and wait for it, it gets better and better. 2.5 TDI turbo diesel automatic. Um, do not make the mistake of an auto sleeper trooper or a trident. So the trooper has the pop top, I've got one here somewhere about. Oh, it's in the workshop now. Uh, and the trident again has got the high top, it's a medium wheelbase. What makes this so special is it's a long wheelbase, and from here it's got a full toilet shower wet room so this is what makes it super special but on this occasion it just keeps getting better and better uh, first owner from the isle of man uh, has had it all its life up till six months ago the last owner was in between motorhomes and camper vans he couldn't make his decision so they bought this as a camper van and they've decided they wanted to go onto a big large coach built motorhome so that's what they've done so it's only had the one driver and the one owner until six months ago it is just magnificent this is fabulous i drove it back on the miles a couple of days ago back from the dealer it's low, just 61,000 miles in automatic just two pedals on the floor stop and go what can i say it just drives like a car automatic power steering electric windows air conditioning it just wants for nothing um, okay so let's walk you around slowly unfortunately for the purchaser these were very expensive to convert and build so they were very expensive um, they hold the value now would you believe i will probably get maybe one hope has a year i've got another one due in and another one i can't believe it this is an automatic there's only three for sale in the united kingdom and i've got two of them look at this that's just arrived yesterday. I can't believe that such a desirable, that's automatic as well. That's a 2009. I think that's covered 66, 67,000 miles. So I'll take you that round on a separate video. Uh, that's to go in the workshop and be checked over. But let's get back into this 2006 Topaz. So yeah, it's just, they just have all the bits and bobs. So just walking around the passenger side, we've got fuel cap. We've got the water inlet, you've got the alloy wheels, you've got the Fiorma F45 awning, you've got the Vision Plus status digital aerial on the roof. We'll have a sneak peek in the tailgate and you'll see what it's all about. So there you have the full desirable wet room, I did say. So you've got your hot and cold tap for your basin, hot and cold shower, toilet, um, more space in there, you've got space in here for the gas bottles and it's the upgraded TDI higher brake horse model model, it really does drive well. Um, so you've got the Truma hot water for the gas, so the, the hot water will heat on gas or electric mains, there's your mains hook up. We'll just have a look under the bonnet. It's got the diesel ever spatcher night heater. Yeah, it wants for nothing this really. It really is. It's got all the bits and bobs, but as you can see, it's got the footprint of a van. And obviously, I don't have to say much about a VW camper. Yes, yeah, so there you have the 2.5 TDI turbo diesel and it's automatic. So I'll take the side shortly and we'll get Dennis the drone up. Let's go for a drive first. I'm itching to get in this and show you how nice it is to drive.
so let's do it. 2006 VW Auto Sleeper Topaz. Just hang on, what's this? What's this in the middle of the dashboard? It's an automatic. So we've just got two pedals on the floor, stop and go. Six speed automatic, so park, reverse, neutral, drive, or you can select S for sport, shift the gear along, and then you can manually go up and down the six gears if you so wish, but we would think 99% of the time you just select D for drive. Off we go. Absolutely fabulous. Power steering, oh, we're in luxury today folks. Electric windows, electric mirrors, remote central locking, AC, air conditioning. Yeah, I drove this back from the dealer that was taken in uh, about 120 miles. What a pleasure, what an absolute pleasure to drive, just like driving a car. You can see why these are the ultimate, in my opinion, VW conversion. Transporter, the auto sleeper, which I'm very passionate about conversion. This particular one is the long wheelbase, the very rare. And day of filming, apparently there's only three for sale in the United Kingdom, and I've got two of them. As yesterday, another one has arrived. So this is 2006, and a 2009 has just arrived. Uh, this just had the two owners. The first owner had it from brand new for 16, 17 years. The last owner had it just shy of a year because he was just testing the waters. Um, he liked this, his wife liked it, but his wife wanted a larger motorhome, so they've upgraded and gone to a, a newer large motorhome coach belt. So it's just had the two owners, full service history. Wow, I don't want to accelerate too hard at all in the uh, safety of the national speed limit here and the country road. Right, there we go, foot down kicks down wow yes this is just fabulous you can see the value of what it's all about right i think that's enough now we're trundling on just shy of 60 mile an hour yeah what can i say what more can i pleasurably say about this particular one it goes without saying i'll be happy to drive this anywhere in the country anywhere in fact further by arrangement if you're in Northern Ireland, I do deliver a few every year to Belfast. Um, I have even delivered one to Bordeaux, the south of France. So that can be arranged. But generally, anywhere in the United Kingdom, I'll be happy to deliver this after a £500 deposit. And I can't see any which way you would be disappointed. Yeah, I'm going to run out of superlatives on this particular one. It is just exceptional and it's the ultimate VW. Transporter, camper, camper, not a motorhome, camper conversion in my opinion. It's got all the bits of folks, full size shower and toilet room, yet the ability to park it in a supermarket, park car park, and drive it like your everyday vehicle. This one's just done over 61,000 miles. Yeah, I've seen a lot of these with spaceship miles because a lot of people drive them, they get rid of the car and use this as their everyday vehicle. Okay, I think I'll take over the camera and I'll show you the rest of the bits and bobs on the inside. Yeah, so what a lovely little drive that was. As I did say, it just drives lovely and obviously two pedal stop and go. You could literally cruise the continent and not feel like uh, you're driving a big motorhome. It's just lovely to drive, just like driving a car. So yeah, I think we'll get Dennis the drone up and I'll show you the roof and then I'll take over the camera and take you inside.
Okay, thanks for that, Dennis. So the moment you've been waiting for, I'll go inside now and there's the tap for the wastewater. In fact, that's the fresh water tank. Yeah, this is just lovely. It's got the original auto sleeper upholstery. Now the last owner, I was told it cost 500 pound for these very expensive VW signed over seat covers. So they are professionally covered in. So it will take a little bit of doing to remove this, but as you can just about see, it's got the original auto sleeper material inside there. So if you wanted that removing, I could have that done for you, but I don't see any reason why not. They actually quite look good and they are, as I say, fitted very well to a good standard. Yeah, so it's got, well, you can get the idea now. It's got an overmat over the original overmat, over the original lino flooring. Let's get in out of the cold. Wow, now this is what it's all about. If I can just zoom out on the camera. So, yeah, so at the rear, this is what it's all about with the topaz. So you've got those sliding doors and that will take you in to the wet room which provides a running shower just some pink fluid there um, you've got the hot and cold sink hot and cold shower storage above the wardrobe soap dispenser wardrobe area just spin the camera around you've got the light you've got the vanity unit off. the shower curtain yeah it's lovely so there's your master control switch hot and cold running water to the kitchen sink a pose in the galley here's you've got your two gas burner hob i'll just take the camera off zoom that's it. We've got the Dometic three-way fridge, so industry standard, everything super spotless as well. So you've got it on the driving, on main, 12 volt when you're driving. The green's lit up now because that's plugged in, so that'll fridge you on mains if you're plugged in at home or a campsite. And you've got the gas option, of course, if you're wild camping. And it's got plenty of cupboards and spaces under the two burner gas. You've got the grill, storage space underneath the grill. So to make the bed up, folks, it's got a rear three-point seat belt, as you can see. So you just move that lever there. This will slide forward. That can come round, and then that will be a single bed. Or we remove or pull forward the side sofa again, press that lever down. This will bring the side sofa across and then that will create a large double bed. Now you will have an infill for the be between, the, if you've got the seat swivel around, for between the seats, as well as just that little low curvature there. So auto sleeper, don't miss a trick. We've got a little cushion that will just take away that dip. And there we have the little cushions and some extra infill cushions and there's a cushion and thermal covers, thermal blinds for the front windscreen. So again, there's the infill for between the seats. Underneath the side sofa, we've got the boiler for the hot and cold, hot water, as well as the leisure battery. You can just have a sneak peek in there. And that is the mains fuse box. We've got a few mains 240 volt sockets and we've got the Eberspatcher heater so we just press this button here and that will fire up and that will use the diesel from the engine tank and that will blow out nice hot air through there of course all the lights work I can just hear it igniting now we'll just switch that off now so all the lights work we've got blackout concertina blinds all over as well as the fly nets. Large hiking roof has also got the concertina thermal rear covered blackout blinds, as well as the fly nets. There's a 12 volt supply there, so you can charge your uh, tablets or phones from the leisure battery. 
and there's your TV aerial socket and I think I've shown you above the cab there and here is the wind out so that will wind the roof up and down and of course all the windows open as they should do so yeah a very well designed compact unit now you can see why it's the ultimate VW camper van and this is super rare. as I say there is only three in the United Kingdom for sale with the automatic gearbox and lo and behold at Camp and Urge, we've got one and two here so I'll be happy to answer any questions or give you any more pictures or information my name's Anthony Valentine the Camp and Urge. you can contact me on 0798 526 1078 and as always I will be happy to drive and deliver this anywhere in the United Kingdom even possibly Europe or Ireland mainland just pick up that phone and I'll be happy to take a small deposit as always it will have a full service before delivery a full habitation service all certificates will be issued and it will also carry a total three month guarantee thanks for watching and I'll catch you on that next video